Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling, Communications Manager for Friends of Science, and with us today we have Dr. Madhav Kandekar. He is a former research scientist with Environment Canada and an advisor to Friends of Science. Dr. Kandekar, we were talking earlier about your view of coal and carbon dioxide, and you have quite a different perspective than most people. Can you please tell us about that? Yeah, I think that's true. I think it is just like the gas carbon dioxide has been identified as a satanic gas. The coal is again looked upon as a dirty energy. I think it is time to change our view on coal. In last several years, we have an excellent clean coal technology developed today, which takes away its particulate matter. And you can now burn coal in a very clean way. And coal, whether you like it or not, is still the cheapest source of energy in most developing world. So um, you're saying that other countries are actually expanding their use of coal then, and the West is trying to get rid of coal? India and China are making extensive use of coal today. Even Japan has coal burning power plants. And I have read some reports that parts of Germany, coal is being used to produce electricity or produce energy. It is the cheapest source. And I don't think we should sort of dismiss the use of coal as severely as we are trying to look at and we, we should change our view about coal. It's a very useful, inexpensive way to produce energy whose need is going to grow as human population grows, especially in developing world. But what, what, about the, uh, what about the developing world? I mean, it seems that in the West, people don't really care that there are lots of people who just don't have even power in their homes. Is that not correct? I think a re recent report I read suggests that probably about a billion people mostly in African countries, also in some South Asian countries, still do not have household electricity or basic sanitations like running water in their houses. Uh, I recall you sent me some report from Alberta about coal-fired plants being on the chopping block. But personally, I feel that if clean coal technology is used, Alberta as well as other regions of Canada could make these clean coal technology a useful addition to the growing needs of energy for Canadians. We might need more in the future. The way I see it, I see a definite possibility that Canadian climate could enter into a long cold phase for the next several decades, possibly even longer. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Kandekar. For uh, Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling, and we'll see you again here on Climate Conversations. Mm -hmm.